Today on the Soap Thing Project, I am going to do a shave with day number two of the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Advent Calendar. It's Planet Nine from PAA. Coming up next. <laughs> All right, got a fresh Ted Pella blade load, loaded into the uh, the Schick Type L razor, and about uh, a little over 36 hours grow, 38-ish hours on the face. All right, let's talk about the scent of Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Planet Nine. So this scent is absolutely repulsive. I'm not even gonna mince words. This scent sucks, okay? <laughs> I, I I wish I didn't have to say that, but let's just read from the, uh, the PAA Planet 9 paperwork that comes with uh, the sample. It says originally released in 2014, so uh, this is a dead one, thank goodness. Uh, scent profile says pungent, energizing, and intoxicating, containing delicate floral notes with a whiff of citrus, honey, and green spicy facets. Comforting yet exotic, that's optimistic, <laughs> with uh, a slight element of mystery. Think Temple of Doom type mystery vibe. Uh, let's see, is there anything else interesting in the paperwork? It talks about... Uh, Talks about Neroli a lot for some reason. I. Uh, it talks about it being uh, an homage to a hypothetical ninth planet in the outer region of our solar system. That's interesting. Uh, it says, sadly, there's not enough space here. Hardy, hardy, har. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's mostly it. So it's... Oh, man, what do I have to say about this? You know what? There was a scent that Denton Magic made uh, that was supposed to be kind of their take on a fougere, and it was a very ferny type of scent, but done in the worst possible way. I mean, that scent, that scent straight up smelled like pickled fish farts. <laughs> like, it was, it was uh, one of only, I think, two or three in my entire shaving hobby where I straight up I uh, took a shaving soap and drop kicked it right in the garbage. It was that bad. Uh, and th this is pretty close to that. It is absolutely terrible smelling. Uh, so let me tell you what I'm getting out of it. It's uh, I think I'm getting mostly green and spicy notes with really peculiar floral undertones. Uh, out of all the scent notes, that's what I get. It is a... I don't know how to describe it. It's just gross. Uh, it's definitely pungent. It's But it's pungent in a way that's not, not attractive. It really does have kind of that... Uh, that green fern sort of note, and I, I cannot for the life of me figure out what this scent is coming from, but every once in a while, I'll get a fern-heavy scent that I, I just smell it and I go, Bleh! and I'm not even sure what that note is. All I know is I know it when I smell it, and it's disgusting. I, I wish I were making this up. Like, I wish this was a, this was a, uh, a spoof video or, or not to be taken that seriously, but I mean it. This one is bad. <laughs> I really don't understand how we go from shave number one on the PA advent calendar, and that's a home run, to this, which is just just a nosedive. <laughs> it's it's kinda I'm I'm sure somebody's gonna gonna shave with this and like it, but not me. I am not one of those guys. <laughs> So that's, that's the, the best I can really say about it, is it's got this very green, pungent kind of uh, not attractive sort of 
sort of fern, green fern facet. It's really weird. I can see why uh, this is not in the Ghost of Christmas Future category because uh, God help me if it was. People are losing their mind if, uh, if they want this to come back. Yeah, I, it's just not good. At this point, I just have to hope that the, uh, that the aftershave smells a little better. I wish I could figure out what that note is. It's just driving me nuts. I, uh, this has happened to me a couple times, like I said, where I'll get a scent that's usually a fern type scent and there's some note in there where it's just like, oh, no, no, not me, not today. Ooh, oh, I was doing great until I shaved right there. Oh man, I had my fingers crossed too. Like, like, yep, I'm gonna have a good shave today. Nope, that was my fault though. Up until then, I think I had a, uh, a bad blade in this razor, but uh, this time that was just straight up. Uh, I should have, I should have just left that spot alone. Would be nice if I could get some shave in the foreseeable future that's nick free. Well, lately it's been it's been a rough road. Uh, let's get some over here because it's not quite close enough. Seems like when it rains, it pours. I'll I'll go I'll have a good streak where I'm just getting amazing shaves. And then it feels like no matter what I do, there's just like 20 of them in a row where it's just like, oh, come on. That's just, uh, just how it is, I guess. Yeah, I wish I had better things to say about this one, but no dice. All right. Wow, that's a bad one. Okay. Yeah, except for that one spot where I really dug in because I was being stupid. Everywhere else feels fine. <laughs> it's one of those frustrating shaves where it's just like, damn it, I almost had it. Okay. Now, Planet Nine from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. I cannot believe I'm about to put this on my face. Oh. Nope, I'm gonna have to, I'm not gonna do it on camera, but after I turn the camera off, I am straight up gonna wash this off because no spank you. Ugh, it's just not good. <laughs> I hate to just trash all over something, but this, this one, you know, Planet Nine, I don't know what they were thinking with this one, but this is a straight up thumbs down of the highest category. It's just, just not for me. I, I'm glad I got to experience it, but I don't think I'm going to be interested in experiencing this very often <laughs> anytime soon. Okay. That's the shave for today. Number two on the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, Advent Calendar. And hopefully the next one is a bit better than this. I am quite confident it will be because I think uh, it's hard to do worse than Planet Nine, in my personal opinion. This one was a no-go. I think I forgot to talk about the scent strength. Let's let's talk about that before we get out of here. This one was a. Uh, whew. Thankfully, this one is a fairly low scent strength, two out of five. I think if it were any higher, it would uh, it would just be untenable. So two out of five on the sniffometer is what this was. Okay, that's the shave for today. Questions, comments. Go ahead and put them in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.